All right, uh, I guess this will be the inaugural video for this channel. Um, I just got this new rotary, but I figured before I took a quick video of it, I would uh, just talk about my setup. Um, I've not been carving long. I've been whittling for a while, so I guess whittling carving. Um, but I haven't been, well, power carving. I'll say I haven't been power carving long. Um, so this is... This is my space, even though the wife has done that with that side. So eventually I plan on uh, getting all this out of here. I'm going to turn this whole basement into my space. I might leave uh, one of these couches in here, uh, which I think is the black one. The black one is a pullout couch or a sofa, sofa sleeper. So I'll leave that one in there. I'll get rid of that. Um, so I might move this somewhere else. This is where... I sort all my metal detecting finds. Uh, it's my other big hobby. Uh, this is the, who knows what, the do-it-all table. It's an old kitchen table of ours that I stole. Uh, everything here is sort of repurposed so far. I don't have much in the way of workspace as previously bought. Uh, there's the new wood burner. I haven't used it yet, but it'll take its inaugural drive this weekend because I've been doing some stuff that I need to burn some wood on. The reason I have uh, this setup right here is because I am doing my rough outs, um, not freehand. I am using an app called the DaVinci Eye app. Uh, and it's sort of uh, like an augmented reality app where I can load up a photo in and trace over wherever uh, whatever I'm, I'm carving on. I got this bar here. I don't drink. I don't use it. So I want to get rid of it, but it's like a $4,000 bar when I looked it up. And if I ever sell the house, I'm sure that'll be a selling point. I'm going to get rid of this, put it somewhere else in the house. No one uses this printer anymore anyway. It's a Canon photo printer. It's just cheaper to print it out at Walmart or Sam's actually. Uh, this is my homemade shop filter. Uh, this is my dust collection system, which I really need to build myself one of those carts so that I can uh, make this more streamlined. This is a pain in the butt. Constantly fighting around, wheeling this around. Uh, this is sort of where I'm carving at right now. Uh, I got this, this Echo Dirt Cheap on a prime day sale or maybe it was something else i paid uh, 19 bucks for for this so that just play some background stuff when i'm carving this is brand new it's the oz elite uh micro motor i'm gonna do a video on that because there really wasn't much and it took me forever most people buy the oz plus and they buy it from like treeline um i went with the elite had a smaller thinner handset uh, which sounded appealing, but in reality, they're probably so close that it doesn't even matter. But I had to change the chuck because it came with the 332nd chuck installed. And I wanted to change it to the 1 8th because I'm just going to use the, the, or the collet, the, the, I'm going to use the quick, the adapter collet to go from 1 8th to 332nd. Um, but yeah, the changing the collet was a pain in the arse and it, there's no videos on it. And it took me forever to figure out, and I'm pretty handy. Um, I don't think I'd be carving without this DC 725 PSI. I could have made my own, but I don't know. I had a coupon for, I kept going to the website and spinning the wheel till I got the highest coupon. If you go to PSI's website, just keep hitting it from a different browser. If you use a VPN, it, you can keep going until you get a, a high coupon. So that's what I did. I think I got a 25% off coupon. And this thing, is amazing before i got this i was carving uh with a rotary and it was miserable man the, the dust cleanup was terrible now i barely have any cleanup um there's just bits i gotta organize all this as i'm developing my skills i keep acquiring things this is what i just got i'm gonna do a short video because i want to try it out um but i wanted to make this before i did that this is my 30 dollar bandsaw i got it off of um, Facebook Marketplace, it, the guy claimed it had a broken blade and needed a new blade, but it didn't. But I bought a new sort of uh, scroll sawish blade anyway. Um, so yeah, in addition to the micro motor, this is the new edition. I just wanted something that I could easily not be wrapped around cords and maybe just put sanding, 
sanding wheels on there or whatever. That way I could just keep going with what's on there. Um, this is just a bunch of wood. Luckily I have an exotic wood store right uh, down the street from my house. Uh, so it's really easy for me to get pretty unique wood. Uh, this is three printers. I'm going to relocate these uh, somewhere else. I don't know where I'm going to going to stick them, but I'll find some place because maybe on the other end, down that way. Um, I got the Ryobi down here. I mean, I'm just a do-it-yourself homeowner, so I pretty much stick to Ryobi. I love the flexibility of battery systems. This is, besides the micro motor uh, here, this is my favorite rotary just because handset has no vibration. It doesn't heat up. Uh, goes to 25,000 RPM, which is which is pretty good, even though with some of these uh, like double cut tung tungsten uh, burrs that I have, they seem to really work well on the micro motor, like cranked up to 35 or 45. Um, but with this guy, it just doesn't bog down. It's It'll just hog through some wood. So uh, I, I really like using that. And one Ryobi battery lasted for hours in hours um and i have one more i have one more rotary which is uh, it's the works which i really like also oh i got this cheapo like dremel clone i hate this thing this thing is terrible I, uh if i would have stuck with this i might have quit the handset vibrates like you're trying to hold on to the tasmanian devil um it's just i despise this thing uh, it was like 28 bucks at Sam's Club. Um, so they do, I guess they do say, you know, I got the, the Ryobi for 99 bucks on sale. It goes on sale all the time for $99 without the battery. So if you're already in the Ryobi ecosystem, it's a, it's a great buy. Um, yeah, that thing is crap. I'm going to donate it or give it to somebody. Uh, I don't like it. I also have a works around here somewhere. I don't know where the... Heck, I put it, the works I really like. The works is kind of like micro motorish. It's got a, a thin, like, okay, here's the works. Oh no. Well, here's part of the works. So the Maker X, this shows up on, um, this shows up on uh, Woot all the time. So I got this with the airbrush, this whole kit over here um, with the airbrush for 50, 54 bucks, I think, 50 something, 57. Um, and I already had a works battery um, from another tool that I have, uh, like a cordless pressure washer that I just use to clean off stuff on the patio. And then I got this separate because I use heat gun all the time and it's really convenient. So I, I like the works. It looks like they're not bringing out new tools for it or maybe some are coming. Um, but more to follow on that. Um, but I use the heat gun for 3D prints mostly. And this... Uh, this is a pretty new addition. Uh, I haven't even used it yet, actually. But I have big plants uh, for this guy. Uh, I think that's it for now. Um, the micro motor was a gift to myself, and I sold some stuff to buy it because I didn't really have the money for it. But I said if I had stuck to carving for a hundred hours, I would get the micro motor. I know I was serious, and it seemed. I was watching videos from Mike Stinnett and Stinnett Sticks. Um, and it seemed like a good do-it-all. It's got super, super good torque on the low end. It really is a do-it-all. So uh, I don't feel like I need anything else here. But there was another USB lithium tool. And I wanted to have sort of a backpack kit if I want to go to the park and just goof off both with the knives and uh, and with a micro motor. I was just going to create myself a little backpack kit uh so video soon to come on this i'll go ahead and end this now and record another video uh, thanks for watching see you in the next one